Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Have you guys um, been checking out the news lately? I got to kind of wait until, you know, my time is up because you already know how these algorithm things work. So let's do a little housekeeping. And um, listen, oh, I know what I meant to say to y'all. A lot of times, um, you know, I want you to know everything that you do to contribute to the channel helps. And that includes watching the commercials. And I know they're probably boring as heck because I got no control over it. But I'm still saying, if you, you know, watch the commercials to the end, that also helps me. I mean, if you get up and go get you a snack or go and let the dog back in, <laughs> you know, whatever it takes. I don't know if they, some of them commercials are like books. So, like I said, I try to support other channels as well like that. Um and I know some of these commercials are very long, even though I have no control over how long they are. So if you could do me a favor, um, also use that as a form of contribution to the channel. Let it play and like and subscribe or give it a thumbs up or dislike. I don't know. I think they took the dislike uh, things down, which I thought was very constructive because it lets you know. Uh, but. Of course, you're living in a fake world. They do fake things, right? So I'm coming up on my mark now where I can really talk like I want to talk. So here we go. You know, the first thing I want to start is with talking about uh, Marilyn Mosby over there in Washington, D.C. What do y'all think about that? What kind of madness is that? Ever since she prosecuted those police officers um, about Fairy Gray, they've been on her head. On her head. This is the kind of stuff where you can see all across America um, uh, they trying to, it seems like they, the elite white men are trying to hold on to the last grasp of white supremacy and they don't want to be held on or held accountable for what they've done. And honestly, you don't understand. You didn't you didn't look at the meaning of the words that the forefathers used when they started this hell hole. No matter how insane they were, because you had Thomas Jefferson, you already know what he was doing. They said these united United States. And that's the key word. Because we aren't, we got all these, this experiment is, is an experiment gone mad. Right? But in my opinion, when you pray on something, it's going to come to fruition whether you like it or not. And how it comes, you can't control it. Right? So you know we're supposed to be united. With the, that's what the mantra was, right? We don't want to be united. Because the white people, they had, uh, what do you call it, double entendo. They wanted it to be, to look like that on paper. But in their hearts, they was like, oh, they bring it over. They got these slaves. They they, they, they got the Chinese work, you know, working the realm. They just, it, it's an insane pot. But... It grew those sprout seeds to where we at today. And anytime you can look at Marilyn, people like Marilyn Mosby, who's trying to correct the situation. And all of a sudden you get to see how united these states really are. You say, oh, look at this false thing. Now you want to you just want to make it look crazy right before an election time. So the people of Baltimore won't vote for it. they do this tactic all the time. This is nothing new, y'all. This, this, the sad part is, is when the people fall for it. Because united, if we stand united, <laughs> all this shit would be straight 
it wouldn't even take that long. And that means black people going to have to be willing to deal with some shit. White people, at least the ones that ain't got malice in their heart, they're going to have to be able to deal with their fragility. Okay, they white fragility and be able to take a deep breath and then become what you said you was going to be on paper. Just like Dr. King said. You got to be true to what you said on paper. Because what's happening is the browning of America is going to make you be true. You can't have a whole bunch of brown people in offices and they're going to sit there and look at all this damn white supremacy and you expect them to sit back and not say anything for this not to be a problem. You got a whole black town looking at you. You, you, uh, for, for instance, what that prosecutor did in Brunswick. See, that was a good old boy network with the McMichaels and those guys. Good old network. That's the way they've been accustomed to doing things. But the browner and the browner and the browner and the poor whiter, whiter, whiter things become for some people. But I want to at least let it be known that I'm saying black people, because this stuff happened all over the world. <laughs> Look at the dynamics. They start marching all up and down there. They, they was like, oh my God. That's something that the society evolved to in order for us to be, a, how do you say, a more perfect union. A more perfect union. You know, I, at this point, got to get me some peace. Like I told y'all, I said, okay. But this is the fight. What they do in, the, in, in Baltimore, they did it here in, with Michael McGee and put him in jail for seven years. That's, that's a tactic that they use for all our leaders, all, all anybody that's running. City, and that way they can keep, even though it's an indictment, even though that don't mean nothing, look how fast they did it to us. But Donald Trump running around here, and they know he tried to run a damn coup on America. He did. It just was unsuccessful. And he hasn't been indicted for nothing. And that's it's that type of bullshit that's going to have to come down. And for black people, we have to stop. I have to keep going there again for us. We have to go back and start reading again. We have to start looking at some of these experiments. Um, when you go to Stanford um, and look at some of the experiments that they have with rats. And then put yourself as the rat. Uh, most black people. Put, the, put yourself as, as the rat that they're doing the um, experiment on. Because that's basically what's happened. And a lot of times you, you get driven mad. So some of us have been driven mad. We know the kind that's been driven mad. They run up in the house. They do home invasions. We know, we know the mad ones. It's just like the experiment when they put the rats and overcrowd them with each other. They know what's going to happen. These rats are going to start fighting each other and going crazy, eating each other alive to the point where even when you want to change their condition and you take them out the box and put them in a different spot, guess what? The behavior is still the same because you ruined um, the, the genetics of the um, rat to the point where he's eating each other. They're eating each other. Ah! And that's what I look at when I see us. So when I say all hands on deck, you still have to think one way or the other. If you want to stay here in the United States, then your fight is to 
um, 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 help secure the bull, um, um, break down. I mean, I'm sorry, not secure, break down the bullshit. That's what your job is. Right? If you want to stay, you can't let that happen to Marilyn Moe. You can't leave her out there by herself. Because you know ain't nobody else going to do anything. I don't care how brown it get. Look, South Africa was all black. And the clerk and all them and them white folk came over there and ran it. Ran it. The politics of South Africa. So you already know you can have the majority and you still let a minority run you, which is insane. But you can't. You 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 gotta feel like over here the 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 majority of us are poor. There's only a few elites. Well, there's a lot of white. But the rest of us, there's only like eight black billionaires, I think they said. And what we have to focus on is stop killing ourselves, fighting for people like Marilyn Mosby. You understand what I'm saying? You only got a few choices. And the last one, is getting the hell out of here. Exodus movement of job people. Exodus. Yeah. Because all they're doing is putting us in jail. We are the fodder. We're the fuel for the train. Okay. They want to stay ignorant. Because they say they want to take history out of the school. What did Napoleon say? Excuse me, y'all. Um, Napoleon said history is a set of lies agreed upon. So now these white people trying to race us out the history books, you're going to let it happen. When you go to tombs in Egypt, you are, they are already trying to whitewash the walls and put Jesus in there. But honey, I, I got the original pictures that would have looked like in them temples and in Luck Store and all that. You, you, you can't go there today and see how the, how they are whitewashing those walls, taking all the jet black people that's in those little statues and everything, and replacing them with other craziness. We might, we can't do nothing about that, but we damn sure can do something about this because that's what you got to do if you're going to stay here. Okay. Every day you got to fight, 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 fight. Or you can make your exodus. Choice is up to you. Oh, don't let me forget about her. Look at that good faithful. Whoopi Goldberg. She's suspended. Because she made a comment. <sighs> Did she lie? Did she lie? I mean, I don't know. Some people don't feel like she did. Especially when you really, really know history. And you really start talking about the lost tribes of... <laughs> no. Okay. I'm going to stop right there. Malcolm X said it best. Of all our studies, history is best to reward our research. So, y'all want to know how we got right here? You you got to start picking up some books 
And now you can just probably go on the internet or Google some stuff. But a lot of us have got to wake up and we got to give that to our young. Because it was a long period when when the crack e epidemic put a big gap <clears throat> in between the babies and the families and the connection. I know kids that have never lived with their parents. They were born into foster care or born into group homes. So there's a big gap in what they know. Who taught it to them? So they're ignorant. They're like tumbleweeds blowing out here in the desert. Some of y'all got to teach a new way. Y'all got to do it if y'all going to stay here in these United States. Because the more their race dwindles down, the more desperate they're going to be getting. And then they, they, the way they're doing these laws, they are going to take you back to the place my great, great grandmama was in. See, because, well, my my great-great-grandmother was a daughter of a slave. And that's not that far removed, y'all. You looking at me, and I'm the great-granddaughter of a slave. Are you kidding me? Do that sound crazy? Okay, so when you put it in that type of perspective, it wasn't that long ago. And all I'm saying is when you look at some of these laws and what they're doing, you know, and how they try to roll, it's like you don't have no choice but to see this is wash, rinse, repeat. They've done it before. This the game. What they playing with Marilyn Mosley. What they playing with Whoopi Goldberg. Nobody can never question um, the Jewish people. You can't never say nothing about them. Can't never, but they can say whatever the hell they want to say about everything else. They can make every kind of damn movie that makes us look like clowns and buffoons and all kinds of stuff. But you can't say nothing about it. Okay? Because then you're going to be anti-Semitic. But who is the Semitic ones? Who are Semitic? How, how, how can a black person be anti-Semitic? Okay. That's because you don't know history. Ooh. That's why you looked at Amari Stoudemire so crazy when he said, I just want to find out my roots are. And you laugh at the uh, Hebrew Israelites on the corners. Well, I might laugh at their outfit sometimes too. But y'all better recognize who the real children of um, uh, in Hebrews are. I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying that. That's why I waited for some time to pass. But I'm saying, it was Napoleon that said, history is a set of lies agreed upon. Okay? So now y'all already see what kind of lies they get ready for Nagel and for the next generation, for my great-grandbabies, they gonna try to wipe me out? Oh no, you ain't. Oh no, you you ain't trying to wipe out Malcolm X, Dr. King, Marcus Garvey, and y'all gonna we gonna let them do it? All of y'all. Black people are the moral compass of this country. We the compass of this country. Period. American culture is black culture. Damn it. Y'all know it. We set the tone. And this ain't no uh, um, divide and conquer talk. This is the truth. All little white kids in suburbs listen to the rap music. We are the pioneers. Y'all already know it. You already know. So either we're going to tell the truth so we can live in these United States. It's okay for us to be different because the Quran states that 
Allah made us into different tribes and families that we may get to know one another. Huh? Not be antagonistic towards each other and try to wipe somebody out. What the? F Listen, y'all. Okay. I didn't think they would suspend Whoopi Goldberg because they gave her 20 years. She gave them 20 years. Because you can't give no opinion. And who's behind that? Who's the puppeteer? Who is? So are you going to speak truth to power? Like Malcolm and all the rest of them. Everybody. It's like everybody got to speak truth to power now. You understand? Otherwise we going to hell. In a rocket ship. But these are still supposed to be United States. United. But if you ain't going to be united in these states. I want to find me a different country. <laughs> a country where it's got all the resources. It may not have an infrastructure. But I bet you I'll do better there than I'm doing here. All right. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. Hit me a line. Shoot me an email. Um, and um, I'll see y'all in the next video.